Here is uh, Brian Kemp, governor of Georgia, um, laying out his plan to open up Georgian businesses on Friday, just uh, three days from now. And um, here he is. He's outlining it. And um, uh, man, uh, you know, well, let's play this clip. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm having an issue with my. One second. All right, here we go. Given the favorable data, enhanced testing, and approval of our healthcare professionals, we will allow gyms, fitness centers, bowling alleys, body art studios, barbers, cosmetologists, hair designers, nail care artists, estheticians, their respective schools, and massage therapists to reopen their doors this Friday. April the 24th. Oh, man. Unlike other businesses, these these entities have been unable to manage inventory, deal with payroll, and take care of administrative items while we shelter in place. This measure allows them to under, undertake baseline operations that most other businesses in the state have maintained since I issued the, the shelter-in-place order. Um, the idea, (laughs) apparently when he talks about tests that, uh, the, the, um, Augusta university in Augusta, Georgia is rolling out an app and they're going to test patients based upon an algorithm. Oh my God. This Uh, is junk science. What is going on, Sam? I mean, you need to get your tattoo and go to the bowling alley because that those businesses are affected in ways that other businesses aren't, Sam. I don't know if you know. It's, it seems to me to be insanity. And the question is going to be like, are people really going to go out and go and get that tattoo? Like, I, I mean, according to uh, Kowalski, Nebraska, in some of these areas and look, we've seen the we've seen now there is at least one study out there that shows a differential between people who watch Fox news and watch Tucker Carlson or watch Sean Hannity. If you watch Sean Hannity in um, they measured in counties across the country, a 20% increase in deaths from COVID-19 from Hannity. We'll talk about that in a moment, but I mean, these people may just assume "Ah, I can go in there and here he is. Here's Brian Kemp uh, basically saying, do we have a, uh, a second clip of this? Um, where he basically says, yeah, here's this. He, he's not doing it for politics, according to Brian Kemp. Yeah. I know you're basing your decisions on medical science and data and the best advice you can get medically and, and economically. But if you could share with us your thought process and how this is weighing on you, this could be one of the most important decisions you will ever make in your personal or political life because so much depends on getting it right opening reopening too soon you can imagine the potential consequences of that what goes through your mind when you think of that well i can tell you i don't give a damn about politics right now we're talking about somebody that has put their whole life into building a business that has people that they love and work with every single day working in many of these places that are at home going broke worried about whether they can feed their children make the mortgage payment you know these are these are tough decisions no doubt and i've had to make many of them and i can promise you i will have to make more of them but we also got to think about the effects on our economy and on these individuals from a mental health perspective from a physical health perspective and literally for people being able to put food on their tables and i believe that this measured approach has got us to the time to trust our people. Um, it may be a tough decision. It's also a, an incredibly stupid one. And they are just so determined not to put any pressure on government to step in and provide for those things that he's talking about. Provide for those people to make sure that they have food. Provide for those businesses to make sure that they're able to maintain their payments to their employees provide for those businesses and those individuals by uh, putting in a rent freeze or a mortgage freeze. They are so adamant 
to not do that, that they are basically making the calculation that A, the coronavirus is not really real. You know, this is uh, motivated reasoning. And or B, all that we'll lose are some, you know, extra people. So we here's, don't need. here's my, let, let's just entertain their logic for a second as business people, not politicians, right? Even if that were the case, right? I mean, I'm, I mean, use entertaining their log, logic that, okay, business as usual, we're going to let people in, if they get sick or not, we're going to have, we're, we're going to um, be able to save businesses in Georgia, small businesses in Georgia. There is definitely a chance that at least 50% of, of whatever their traditional business doesn't come in. So at what point are the losses actually greater in keeping that business open than keeping it closed? Do you see what I'm saying? Like there are a lot of businesses right now that can operate and they can sell food to go and they've just decided it's, it's just too expensive even to provide those services and, and keep those contracts going, even if we're selling 75% or even a hundred percent because of X, Y, Z reasons, you know, uh, insurance, for instance, providing insurance for your, your, your staff. Um, exactly. I wonder, I wonder if uh, Brian Kemp owing more than $800,000 in loans to banks that he helped start uh, may have what? something to do with it. Whoa. That's a story from 2018. Um, he is a real estate investor and property manager. Oh. So he very well may uh, want some of that money churning out does not want to have to turn to a situation where there's any type of rent freeze because that's a situation where maybe he himself that's right might have some problems here it is wow good that was Brendan, investigative uh, reporting guys I mean, come on <laughs> you know i'm wow. making some hard decisions man i'm going to have to uh, just as long as i can pay off these loans I'm willing to let somebody else's grandma die. I really, you know, like, honestly, I want full transparency. If you're a governor and you're basically opening up your economy, I want to see your parents, your kids, and you out there on the front lines. You want to prove to everybody this is safe? Go I get a tattoo. Kemp. Yeah, I want, I, I want Kemp in that tattoo parlor yeah. going like, that looks pretty cool. How about you get one with like, you know, uh, an eagle on there or something? <laughs> Yeah, he needs a fresh set of nails, a new haircut, and a and a new tattoo before before we open anything else up. Before he goes bowling. 